Are you seeing this error while logging into your WordPress site? This can happen for a lot of reasons, but don't worry, I've been there and in this video, I'll show you the easiest way to fix these login issues. We can reset our password from a web hosting account. My site is hosted on Cloudways, but the steps for other hosting is almost the same, so just follow along. This is my hosting site. I'll quickly log in from here and it will take me to this dashboard. Now I'll select the server that's connected to my website and you'll come to this page. Go here and then select your website. This is your application manager. And now we are going to click on launch database manager and it will take you to another tab. Now from this table, we will look for WP user. Here it is. Let's click it. Here you can see multiple tabs like select data, show structure, alter table and new item. We will click on select data and we are going to look for user login details linked to our website. Here it is. Just click on edit. Awesome. Now go to user pass and change it to your desired password. Once done, click save and we are done. If you are still seeing this error, then it's time to clear your cache and cookies. If these temporary files aren't updated on time, the older versions of these files can stop you from logging in. To check this, I'll click here at the login page, go to manage on device site data and click here on manage site data. Now to clear the cache, I'll go to privacy and security here and select clear browsing data. Adjust the time range here and hit clear data. I hope it solved your problem, but if not, then it's time to edit some code in WP config file. Before I move on to the next part, this is not an ad. Since the video is about website, then you should definitely try this free speed plugin called Airlift. If you put your website URL here, it will boost your website speed up to 90%. Cool, right? So try it here and let me know if you like it. Go to this website and download FileZilla FTP. Once installed, open it, then go to your web host dashboard and get your FTP details. So I'll go to my web host dashboard again and in the account details section, I'll find my FTP credentials. Just copy these and paste them here on FileZilla like this. Once done, hit quick connect. Just to let you know, all the folders that you see on the left are on your computer. All your website data is on the right. Now to find our file, Press Ctrl F and search for wpconfig.php file. Here it is. Now before we move ahead, let's take a backup by right clicking on it and download it to your computer. Okay, let's edit the file by right clicking on it and selecting view edit. Now go to this section and paste your code snippet like this. You'll find the same code in the description below. Make sure to add your URL in the place of example.com like this and then save it. I'll click yes to upload this edited file. Once done, go back and try to log in. If this resolved your issue, then give this video a like. And if not, just hang in there. If you have recently modified your web server configurations or tried to redirect a URL from your site, then this may have corrupted or harmed your htaccess file. So to fix this, I'll go back to FileZilla, select the public HTML folder and search for htaccess file. Here it is. Again, download the file and keep it in your computer. To edit, right click and select view edit. Now press Ctrl A and delete this. Replace it with a code snippet like this. I'll paste the same code in the description below. Once done, click here to save it. Again, click yes when you see this pop up. That's it. Now see if the error is gone. Okay, if you are still facing this issue, then it's probably happening because of corrupted login file. To fix it, you will need to replace it with the latest version of it. Go to this website and download the latest version of WordPress. Once done, open it and search for the wplogin.php file. Open it, press Ctrl A and copy it. Now go to FileZilla and search for the same file in public HTML folder. Here it is, right click on it, select view edit. Select all of this and press Ctrl V to replace it with the latest version of WordPress. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.